How's it going, guys? My name is TJP, and welcome back to another NHL 22 franchise rebuild. In case rebuild, we've got. Oops, I accidentally got my thing. We got the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, so if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below what other videos you want me to see. Check out my channel. You guys like other videos from me. All my socials are also in the, in the description too. And yeah, with that being said, let's get on to gameplay. All right, so we're logged and loaded into NHL's 22 franchise experience, and let's take a look at the team. So, roster moves. What do we got? Here are the skaters. We got uh, Korea, Garo, Van Rymsdyk, uh, Ellis, Yandel. I mean, you guys can see there's some talent here. There's some talent. Um, we definitely have a lot of guys making a lot of money, though. I will say that. Goalies. Hart and Jones might want to look to upgrade that um, at some point. Maybe even now. Who knows? But uh, in terms of trades and what we have on the depth depth chart. So 15 centers, 5 left wings, 10 right wings, 19 defensemen, 5 goalies. I'd like to turn a couple of those defense and centers maybe into some, some more wingers. Uh, and if we get another goalie, that would be fantastic as well. Uh, my camera's glitching out. Why? Why is my camera glitching out? Maybe because I'm running a video. Who knows? But uh, let's take a look at my lines because I'm kind of curious to see who my starting lines are right now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes. I want to keep that up to date. Yeah, this uh, this is a little bit weak here. I mean, the, surprisingly, the left wingers have decent. The centers are kind of weak. We actually might need to upgrade that position. Although Derek Broussard could play center. So if I get like a dedicated, uh, you know, winger... Um, and then Broussard could move to center. I think that'd make my offense a little bit more dynamic. In terms of defense, defense is actually pretty solid. So I'm kind of liking that. Maybe you can see if I could trade for a left winger right now, kind of improve the team, uh, or a goalie, one or the other. Maybe even both, who knows. Okay, so I just traded for Drake uh, Kagula from the uh, Sabres. I also got a fifth round pick. Uh, traded away Thompson, Jack and a couple six and seventh round uh, and a seventh rounder so that's the only move i think i'm gonna make for now since i'm kind of way over the cap so uh and that might have cleared up a little bit of space uh it doesn't really make the line that much better but hey i'm just gonna kind of keep the team ways see how we are in february kind of assess the situation there and i will see you guys once i'm there all right guys so we're currently in february and uh we have 50 Six points. We're fifth ranked. It's kind of close, though. It is kind of close. Uh, the Penguins are kind of running away with the division. But uh, let's take a look and see how people are doing. So Keith Yandel is leading my team in points uh, with 41. Uh, Courier with 40. Or Courier with 40. Uh, Konechny. Konechny. I, I think... Uh, uh, Butchering names, but it's fine. I mean, you guys see the team looks okay. It looks kind of solid. But uh, my my bottom lines are brutal. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that might be a bit of an issue. Uh, in terms of defense, and just, or, or, yeah, like protection of the puck. Got some hits, blocks, you know, the giveaways and take takeaways. Pretty good, pretty decent. Nothing too spectacular. Um, I'm just really pissed that my camera keeps... Camera's burning hot right now. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's any moves I want to make right now. Oh, gotta see my goalies. Gotta see how they're, they're doing, because that could be uh, a little bit more cumbersome. Uh, yeah, we need goalies. <laughs> yep, I think, Car uh, I think Carter Hart's good. Maybe we try to trade Martin Jones and like a pick to try to get a goalie, because uh, I think I want a little bit. I want a little bit. Of, I want to upgrade that position. So let's see if there's a trade I can make for a goalie right now. All right, trade away Jones, Forrester, and two third round picks for Spencer Knight from the Panthers. So he'll be a new goalie for us. So I'm kind of happy with that, and I think that'll make us a little bit better. He's also kind of a young guy too, which is good. So yeah, taking a look at now the. Uh, goalies. So now we have Hart and Spencer Knight. So Spencer Knight becomes the backup, which is fine. So Carter Hart's the, uh, the starter now. So hopefully that makes it a little bit better. We'll see. Um, 
Especially since uh, Jones is going to be afraid anyway, and I was going to sign him, so might as well get some value for him. So I'm just going to simulate and see you guys at the uh, end of the season. Hopefully, we can make a nice run in the second half of the year. All right, guys, so we almost didn't make the playoffs. We had a great second half, and then we started to choke at the end of the season, but we did end up making the playoffs. Phew. 43-31-8. Uh, yeah, we just slipped in 94 points. We got very lucky, uh, because like I said, we almost choked, uh, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. We made the playoffs and, uh, it's pretty good. We have a lot of scoring. Our defense, 3.09 goals per game. That's kind of worrisome, but we do score a lot, which is good. So, uh, Couturier with 70 points leading team. Atkinson, Giroux, Claude Giroux. Okay, I mean, solid stuff here. Made the playoffs in our first season. Yandel, 24 plus minus. That's nice to see. Got a few guys that we might have to look to move or try to upgrade positions in. Looks like maybe... Uh, a, couple of my, a couple of my things. Maybe some of my defenders, some of my wingers. Might look need to upgrade. How the goalies end up faring? Uh, Hart, a little bit better. And uh, Knight, not too bad. So I like to see that. Definitely a little bit better than it was before. And I th and I believe we're taking on uh, Pittsburgh in the first round. We are. So the Battle of Pennsylvania. Uh, probably going to lose. I would just assume that we're probably going to lose against them. And here's the rest of the player tree in case you guys are curious. But you never know. I mean, hey, teams get hot. You never know what could happen in the game. You got to play the game. So here we go. Game one against Pittsburgh. Can we beat them? Oh, we win in overtime. That's good. Can we beat them in game two? We lose in overtime. All right, so series is tied 1-1. We're down 2-1. Uh, we're down 3-1. All right, well, we lose in five. All right, not a surprise. I kind of figured we would lose. So we got to the first round of the playoffs and did not end up advancing past that. So that's a little unfortunate. So I'm just going to see the rest of the season, show you guys the awards, and we'll just go from there. So the Montreal Canadiens win the Stanley Cup. And now let's take a look here at... Whoa, I want to see the stats. I want to see the stats. Can I... Or not the stats, the awards. Can I do that game? Whoa, like, geez, I'm trying to stop simulation. I want to see the awards. We're probably not going to have any flyers. We never know. Any flyers here? No flyers. All right. Well, you guys saw the awards. No flyers. So it's all good. So we're just going to uh, go to the draft now. So I'm going to draft Matthew Ward. It's actually kind of funny. I know a uh, Matthew Ward. It's not this guy, though. But we're going to draft him. Uh, I know there's uh, Ludwig Almquist, but he didn't play that much. And then Vili and Tunin. I'm kind of liking these stats that uh, Matthew Ward put up. I mean, he's 18 years old. He's probably not going to play. But uh, we might give him a shot. Now, I'm kind of curious what the star means. Scout recommendation. Ooh. Ortiz could be a... Chad? Ooh, his name is Chad? Hmm. Chad. And he's got X Factor. Maybe we take him, actually. How old is he? How old is Chad? 18? Do we take Chad Ortiz? Or do we take Matthew Ward? Let's take... You know what? Let's take Chad Ortiz. I, I was going to take Matthew Ward, but you know what? Let's go with Chad Ortiz. We're going to go with Chad Ortiz. Can't, can't pass on a name like that. All right, so this is this is the results of the draft. I didn't have many picks. I traded a lot of them away. That's fine. So I'm happy with that. Now we're going to go on to the re-signing phase. So let's simulate to that. See what we got over here. How many restricted free agent guys? I feel like we're not going to have that many guys up that are restricted. But Yandel and Jarrell, we got to re-sign them. That's like a priority. And uh, we're still leaning. Ooh, we actually have a lot of guys that are for free agency. Okay, so really not that many qualifiers, though. I mean, a few guys down here like Allison. So uh, I'm just going to qualify these guys, offer a few guys some contracts, and uh, we'll kind of just go from there. All right, so uh, Keith Young declined his option. We got back Claude Giroux, uh, and Rasmus did not accept his. The problem is we don't have a lot of money, so this is going to be a little bit of a difficult thing. Since now I only have like 8 million in caps, I don't even know if I can afford Yandel. So we might actually, I don't want to let him walk either. That would be kind of annoying if he walks so we might have to look to trade somebody to clear, clear up some cap space uh wrist i'm gonna offer him a contract though all right i'll give him 4.825 five years that's fine if he wants that <clears throat> but i'm gonna have to look to make a trade if i want to re-sign yandel 
And he still rejected this. Okay. Hmm. That's weird. All right, well, let's give him a different... Uh, let's give him a little bit more money. I'm not going to go more than five. If he wants more than five, then you can walk, buddy. Um, we'll give him five million. Five million for four years. If you decline that, I might just let you walk, which is going to be kind of annoying. Wow. Okay, Rasmus, you're a little piece of crap. I hope you die. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't hope he dies, but that's a little annoying. All right, so we're going to need to clear up some cap space here. This could be a little bit difficult. I'm just closing out a program here. So I'm just going to see what trades I can find. Try to see if I can clear up some cap space so I can re-sign uh, Yandel at the minimum. He ended up re-signing Rasmus or Stalinen. So that's good. Uh, but we're going to have to send him to free agency because Keith Yandel is going to be a free agent. And I'm going to need to figure out if I can free up like $5 million in cap space or something. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to re-sign Keith Yandel. But I did pick up Caleb Jones. So, um, I guess that's fine. We're probably going to have to end up letting Keith Yandel walk. Uh, did he end up resign? Yeah, he signs. Oh, no, he didn't sign anywhere else. But his, uh, if his, if his salary expected keeps going down, I mean, nice. But the problem is I just signed that. So now I have even less money. So I don't even think I'm going to be able to afford him. So that's a little upsetting. Um, so we're probably going to have to lose Keith Yandel. Unless I trade somebody else, but the problem is, like, who do I trade? That's the thing. Like, I don't really know. Like, I... You know, I could trade... I could trade Frost. He's got one year left. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have a... I'd like to be able to see my... I wish I could see, like, my, 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 my roster here... But I kind of can't. I mean, I can do proposed trade and look at it there. But yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna be. I, I don't honestly. I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, keep him. Like I'm just like looking at my team. I mean, we have a ton of uh, like these are my forwards. I think forwards we're good on. I mean, Alice and Kubo, they're still restricted. So hopefully we keep them. I mean, I really don't want Lashiski being here. Honestly, if I can get anything for him, we can trade him. Because I, I would rather just not have him and hopefully those guys re-sign. Because that would be kind of bad. Defenders, I need to look at my defenders again one more time. It's just like the defensemen. I'm a little, I'm a little worried since, I mean, it's not awful. It's not awful, but it, it is a little bit of a downgrade. I really, really need him back. I really need Yandel back, but I guess we we'll kind of just have to let him walk. It's the price we pay, so... Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to free up that money. So I'm just going to simulate the rest of the season, uh, rest of free agency. If I pick up anyone minor, I'll show you guys. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys pretty much at the start of next season. All right, one more sending I made, Carl Grundstrom. He might play in the. He might play on our main roster. He might be in the minor leagues, but I picked him up regardless, just in case. Not a huge signing, but pretty much uses up the rest of my cap space. In season, we ended up keeping Wade Alice, and he ended up accepting a qualifying offer, so that's nice, I guess. But yeah, I'm looking at the team, and I don't know. I mean, did we get much better? Personally, I'd say no. I would say, no, we didn't get better, in my opinion, is what I would say. I don't know if we got better or not. Um, in fact, I feel like we got worse. But Heart, Heart got Heart and Knight improved, which is nice. So that's good. Maybe, maybe we did get better. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to simulate. I can't make any trades since I don't have any cap space. Uh, oh, got to see the lines. Let me double check the line first before I uh, do anything. So let, let, let's just, I'm just curious to see the lines. Let's take a look at the lines. Uh, yeah, like, I'm a little worried about this. This kind of worries me a little bit. Um, but, I mean, our, our, our number one line is pretty sick. The defense also, the defensive line is really good too. 
And maybe the defense will be okay. I think, I think maybe, I, I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to simulate. Um, I'm just gonna hope for the best. Hopefully we stay healthy too. Like, I feel like injuries is a pain in the ass as well. Uh, but we're gonna hope, uh, we're gonna hope to be, I want to say we're gonna be hopefully ranked between three and five. I can work with that. That's like where I'd like to be, but. All right guys, so at, in February, we are currently ranked number two, so that's not bad. We have 66 total points, which is pretty decent, pretty decent. So, uh, one rank better than my top of the rank, which I wanted to be three. So two is pretty good, and we're only two games, two points back from the Hurricanes. 29-14, we've had a lot of overtime losses and shootout losses, which I'd rather have than the loss and loss column. As you guys can see, 14 losses. Because at, at the very least, we can get points from losing an overtime or shootout. So that's a good thing. In fact, we have the least amount of losses. Just losses, not like overtime shootout losses. So that's kind of funny. So that's good. I'm actually happy with that. I'd rather lose in overtime and shootout losses, like I said, than regular losses. You don't get any points. So... That's good. So uh, that means we're having. A, that means there's a lot of. We're, we're in a lot of close games, and even some of my losses, they were close. We're not really getting blown out. So I do think that this team is doing pretty good. They're gel. They seem to be gelling somewhat well. And I mean, you guys see the stats. We look like we're playing pretty well so far. So this is good. Uh, I am kind of excited here. I think I'm gonna keep the team the way it is, and we're gonna worry about making moves in the offseason. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of money to play around with in the off season if we don't win. So. I am kind of happy with 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 the with the team so far. I think the goalies have been pretty good too. Yeah, I mean Hart and Knight have been pretty good. They've been really good. So um, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. So this is looking this is looking pretty good. We're doing pretty good. So what is PIM? Penalty minutes. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, what is that? Uh, all right, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I'm not going to make any moves. We're just going to simulate. If there's a move that pops up, I'll make it. But chances are I'm not going to be able to make a move. So, uh, actually, the, the only move I might want to make since um, what's-his-face didn't sign. Maybe we get a pick for him. Uh, there, was a, there was a guy that was in my system. Uh, Abder Nadim, I think was it, was it what, what was what it was. Is he still here? Oh, Abe Kubo. Abe Kubo, yeah. Uh, Nicholas Abe Kubo. See what we can get for him. Traded Abe Kubo for a third round pick. I'm fine with that. That works for me. Since he wasn't going to play anyway, third round pick, maybe that'll be useful in the offseason if I need to make a trade. So uh, we're just going to see the rest of the season. I'll see you guys once I am there. Alright guys, so end of the season, here we are, here are the points, totals, and we finished with 99, ranked third, which is pretty much what I said we would be, <laughs> between three and five, so uh, not too bad, I'm happy with that, I will take that for sure, we're gonna have to see if we're taking on the playoffs since it didn't really uh, end yet, but season really didn't end yet, so, uh, Jarrell with 68 points leading the team, 58 for uh Couturier, uh, Ram Rimesdick, 56, 55 for uh, Konechny, uh, Atkins, 54. I mean, you guys can see, I mean, the team was pretty good. I thought we were solid. Uh, the the bottom and the defense is a little scary. I'm seeing a guy, some, some minus out there, so I'm a little worried about that. Uh, but, you know, a lot, we've lost, we lost a lot of close games this year. We really did. Um, and then, you know, goalies. Uh, Hart and Knight, uh, not too bad, not too bad. So, uh, we went 44, 27, and 11. Could have been, could have been maybe 46, 22, and 16. I don't know if the math adds up there. 18? I don't know. We had a lot of close games that I feel like could have went our way, but didn't. So it's fine. It is what it is. So uh, we're going to just simulate another day just to see who we're going to be taking on in the playoffs and the playoff tree. 
Although I kind of have an idea of who we're going to be taking on. It's going to be Carolina. So that's fun. Carolina, where did they finish again? <coughs> where, did, where did Carolina finish? Because I am kind of curious to see what what were the where did they finish? Cause I thought they were I thought they were pretty good. I thought they were ahead of us. They were the two, right? Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, we're, yeah, we're taking on Carolina could be a tough matchup. It's a definitely 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 a tough matchup there. But here's the rest of the playoff tree in case you guys are curious. I'd like ow bitch bit my tongue. God damn it. I would like to be able to make it to the second round at the minimum, but knowing this game probably hates me. May not happen, especially with Aho on the team, Sebastian and Aho. But we're gonna simulate and find out. Game one, we lose. Game two, we lose. Really? Okay, win game three. Can we win game four, please? Wow, down three one again? Come on. Alright. Game six. This is big. Alright, we're going to a decisive game seven. If we win three straight, this would be clutch. Come on, EA. Yes, EA. Thank you. We're taking on Pittsburgh again. Alright, so Battle of Pennsylvania in round number two. Uh, they won in five. Okay. Let's, let's see if we could beat... Let's Maybe this year will be our year. Who knows? Game one. We take the victory. That's good to see. Game two. We win two straight. We're up 2-0. Let's not blow it. Oh, we're up 3-0. Okay, 3-1. Win in five. Okay, win in five, and we're going to the conference final, I believe, against the Canadians. So Montreal. So here we go. This is good. Game one gets Montreal. Can we beat them? We lose. Okay, game two. We lose. Right, we're down 2-0 against the Canadians. Don't go down 3-0. Okay, 2-1. Let's make it 2-2. Okay, make it 2-2. Win an OT. Let's win game three. We win three straight. Let's make it four straight. And let's go to the Stanley Cup. We're going to the Stanley Cup and face the Jets. All right. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. Stanley Cup final. Winnipeg Jets. Winnipeg Jets versus the Philadelphia Flyers. Okay. This is huge. Making a big run here. Game one against Winnipeg. Can we win? We lose 6-3. Game two. We win 5-2. Can we win game three? We win game three in overtime. Can we win game four, please? No. Okay. Best of three now. Oh, we lose game five. That's a huge loss. We need to win game six. Can we force a game seven, please? Fuck you, EA. I fucking hate EA. Fuck you. Fuck you, EA. God damn it, we lost. All right. Winnipeg beats us in six in the Stanley Cup Finals. That is so annoying. I... Ugh. All right, let's see the awards. Let's see the awards. Just so infuriating, really. It just really is. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, no flyers. Wait, who won the uh, who won the award? <coughs> Hello, Biuk. Amazing. All right. Well, we lost. It is what it is, guys. We got one more season. Maybe we can. We have another run in us. Who knows? Okay, I'm doing something ballsy here. Five first round picks for the number one overall pick. I have. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm kind of curious. So we're on the block, and we only have two minutes. Uh, I can call a timeout though, which I might do, because I might want to look to see if I can make a trade with it. Uh, what picks are available? Connor Berard. Whoa. Gem or a bust? Oh my. Oh my. Okay. You know what? <sighs> okay, I need to call a timeout. I need to call a timeout. I need to think this. Call a timeout. All right, so what can I actually get if I just do fine trade for a number one pick? 
I feel like I could get... Oh, I can't get anything. So, like, if I threw up the... Well, here's the thing. Because I don't know who I'd even want to trade for. I mean, obviously, a boss right winger would be incredible. <sighs> Man, do I make it... Do I trade the number one of... I mean, that guy looks... In, it, it, it looks like he could be something. But the problem is I have one season... I have one season, so is he really going to make that much of an impact? I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to see if there's I'm going to see if there's any offers I could find, any any like trades I can make. All right, you know what? I I'm not going to be able to find a trade. I'm just going to take this guy, Connor Bedard. I think I'm going to take him. He looks like he would be really good. Um, I have to, I feel like I have to take him. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna pick him. We're gonna pick him. Oh, he's not that good. Oh! Alright, I'm gonna see if I can make another trade, though. Alright, trade for Brian Rust and, uh, for Rance from the, uh, David France from the, uh, from Nashville. And I traded with first, second, third round pick. First round pick in 2020, second, third round pick this year. So I think I'm good with making trades. Uh, so there we go. All right. This will be fun. So now I'm going to simulate. See who ends up, who end up getting. I mean, it doesn't really matter since these guys aren't going to play. So I don't know. Maybe we, maybe I regret not trading the number one overall pick. Maybe. Maybe. Especially in like now, my final season. I could regret that. But. At the very least, if anything, he's trade bait at the deadline next season. So it's not the end of the world, honestly. Um, it really isn't. So it. So I, I think I'll be okay. We'll give him a shot. We're going to give him a shot. I mean, we do have some money, actually, which is good. Uh, and we don't really have that many free agents. I mean, I like to keep Rhymes Dick and uh sandheim but it's not like too bad i mean and then they've got a few uh a few qualifiers so i'm just gonna uh, worry about this and i'll show you guys anything that pops up all right i had to re-sign spencer knight i could have qualified him but i'd just rather have him be under contract uh vans rhymesdick didn't accept and uh travis sandheim re-signed which is good so uh i don't know how much cap space i'm gonna have Maybe we go after Rhymes Dig, maybe we keep, maybe we don't, maybe we go after a free agent. Question is, I need to see what my depth is, and unfortunately I can't look at that until free agency, so uh, I'll offer, uh, well, I guess, I mean, honestly, I could just do this, but how many centers do I have and what wingers? Uh, I mean, it's not the end of the world if I don't re-sign him. Because I think those guys will, all, will accept the qualifiers. But I would like to keep him. Eh, Russ could play. Yeah, we'll, we'll still offer him a contract. I mean, we don't have much money anyway. Might as well just offer him another contract. I mean, he only has one year deal. If I give him like $4.4 million for two years, maybe he'll accept that. If not, I'll just wait till free agency. Maybe try to resign him then. All right, so I got a lot of my guys back on qualifiers. The problem is not on money. So I'm actually ended up losing out on um, I'm gonna end up losing out on him. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll resign uh, Rhymes. I'm not gonna be able to get him back. So I'm gonna have to sign somebody else that's more affordable. So I am gonna take a little bit of a hit there. It's not the end of the world, but. Um, I would have liked to have kept him, but I don't think we'll be able to. Uh, Donato, I think he's a restricted free agent, though. Uh, I mean, I'll offer him 1.9, 1 million uh, for one year, but I don't doubt he'll accept that. I'll probably have to look for somebody else, so we'll see who I use that money on. Uh, I'm just going to see if he actually accepts. He's probably going to decline. Yeah, I went to another team. All right, so I'm going to see who I can get to replace uh, Ryan. I picked up Zach Paris, so that's fine, I guess. Um, that pretty much uses up... Well, I still have 1.07 million, so I could try to sign, like, another... Uh, do I want another defender? 
Maybe we go after another defenseman. I have to double check my team though. See what else is out there. Uh, let's see if I do trading block. What else? What do I have here? Maybe another right winger. Honestly, could be could be useful like another winger. Uh, again, low tier winger, but something. Uh, since I think I'm good on defense. I picked up Zach McEwen. Uh, that's the only move I'm gonna make. I'm done making moves. So I'll see you guys start next season. All right, guys, third and final season. This is the roster that we have going into the year. So, you know, Corturier still here. Provorov still here. Uh, Konechny, uh, Farabee, Giroux, Rost, Ellis. I mean, it's a solid team. Uh, it, it, it really is. I think this team could be pretty good. Uh, Cam York is up here. Is the guy that we drafted even playing? I don't think he is. Uh, I don't think he's up here. I think he's. I think he's. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's in the in, in the league, which is fine. Uh, I think he's in the system. But let's take a look at the goalies, because that's kind of uh, what I want to see. So Hart and Knight are both really, really good. So that's that's good. That's great. So I'm kind of. I'm actually very excited about this team. I think this team could be really good. Um, if I do propose trade, I am just curious to see. Who has the most trade value on my team? I would assume it's... Ooh, it could be Ortiz, actually. Ortiz hasn't even played either. Yeah, Bedard is... Has extremely high trade value. Which is good. And Ortiz is here, too. So, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we look to trade Connor Bedard... Not right now, but at some point, we throw him, Ortiz, and, like, another player, and we can get, like, a stud if I need to do that. Because, like, that, like if he's not going to play, it's, like, wasted. It's just it's just a waste having him on the team. So, uh, regardless, right now, I'm just going to simulate, and once I'm um, in February, I'll show you guys the stats. I don't expect to make any moves. All right, guys, so we're not doing as well as I thought we'd be doing. We only have 54 points. We're 27 and 22. We haven't had a single overtime loss. It's either been a win or a loss. I mean, we've given, we've gone in the shootouts in overtimes, but we've won every single time, um, which is somewhat alarming because if some of those uh, losses would have been in overtime, we might be ranked fourth or even third, um, or even some of those be wins. But I am a bit scared. Uh, so I'm gonna need to look at the stats. We're gonna need to look at the stats. So I'm probably gonna have to trade that guy because he is not in my league. He's not in the he's not in the NHL. Yeah, he's not in the NHL. So I'm gonna have to trade him. We're gonna have to trade him. Because I don't know if this team is gonna be good enough to actually make the playoffs this year. It's like a borderline. It, it, we're like borderline right now. I'm a little worried. Uh, and I do want to take a look at the the lines right now, because I'm kind of curious who we're going to trade. we got to trade for something big. I mean, yeah, the goalie's okay. It's not as good as last year. But, um, yeah, we got to take a look at the we gotta take a look at the lines. So, what do I need, personally? What do I want? That's the thing is, what do I want? And also, what do I need? I could edit lines. Yeah, I, I mean, a stud winger would be great. Like, we could really use that. I mean, the defense maybe could upgrade that too. Yeah, I get two for one. The problem is I don't have cap space. That's the issue. I've done a horrible job managing contracts. So we're going to actually, we're gonna have to throw in like a guy or two to flip. So uh, Bedard again here, but not playing. Would like to keep him. I, I, is there a way I can like put him in the... I mean, wow. Like, See how much trade value that is? That is a ton of trade value. I can't like not trade him. I really have to keep him, so uh, I'm going to see if I can muster up some trades. I traded away Bedard. Um, I, 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 I did this trade with the Predators. Let me show you guys how I traded before. I had to do something because he wasn't going to play, so this is what I did. I, I acquired Jorgen, Obergauer, and Eli Tovenin from Nashville. We traded away Bedard, Lindbom, and a first-round pick. Might not be the best trade I could have made, but... I had to make something because he just wasn't going to play. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if I do, like, a 10-year rebuild ever, obviously I wouldn't trade him. But 
you know, because we're not doing a 10-year rebuild, it doesn't really matter. So, let's take a look at the lines. This is what we're going to have. I mean, it might be better. I mean, it, it looks like it could be decent, but I'm a little worried. I am a little worried. I think the defense might still be okay. Um, I, we're just going to simulate. I, I'm really hoping, hoping for the best here. Uh, we can go on a nice run here, make the playoffs, make another Stanley Cup run. Would be great. But I never know with this game. So I'm going to simulate. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully we're in the playoffs. But we choked. We choked and we didn't make the playoffs. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that really amazing? So we were awful in the second half of the year. We didn't make playoffs. 42 and 40. 42, 37, and 3. So we didn't make the playoffs. Great job. Good job, uh, Philly. Made yourself proud. Way to end the year off strong. Way to end the year off strong. Way to end the video off strong. So we didn't make playoffs. I mean, you guys get the stats. I don't understand. I really don't understand it. I don't get it. Provorov was really good. Wow. He was... He was impactful. Injuries. Look at that. Look at all those injuries. Maybe that's why? I... I don't know. Chemistry, maybe? I, I don't know. Morale? Guys, we didn't make boss. Make boss. We failed once again. And we made the playoffs in our first two seasons. We got to the Stanley Cup, lost, and then in our final season, we can't make playoffs. Very upsetting. I'm just going to simulate, see who ends up winning Stanley Cup, and then we're going to take a look at the awards and then just close out the video. Tampa Bay wins a Stanley Cup. Good for them. And let's take a look at the awards that I don't think any of our players won. Probably not, I would assume. Uh, really wanted to try to trade for Dre Zadel. Couldn't get him, though. Um, yeah, no, don't see anybody here. All right, well... Well, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. So we're just going to close out and go to the full screen. Unfortunately, we couldn't win. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Comment on the video. Share my social down in the description. Also, there's a playlist containing other NHL 22 franchise content as well as my channel. So in the next video, we got another central team. Uh, our next team uh, it's going to be the Chicago Blackhawks. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, so we're going to do them next. And, uh, yeah, guys... Let me know in the comments on video ideas. Please. Please let me know. Uh, like I said, I've said this before. I'm going to be rebuilding all the teams first before I start doing challenges. So ease off on them. But still throw me suggestions because I'm not really sure. I know I've got a couple suggestions already that are in here, which we'll probably implement uh, once we are done rebuilding all the teams. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Have a great night. See you soon. And peace.